Right. So, this is going to be a City of Threads pull breakdown. So, first, some things to note. Notice my Bone Shield and Runic Power. If you go back just a little bit, you'll see I refreshed my Bone Shield right before the boss died. And it's just enough time for the RP to finish and for me to start the pull uh, with resources. So, to start off, Death Crest, just to refresh it, I'm going to be Vamping, Blood Boil, so I can get uh, at least some kind of Abilicus. And then after I get some kind of health back, I'm going to drop D&D so that they're slowed. That way I can group up the rest of the packs. Now, I could have gotten this pack over here too, but I'll mind that next time. I'm going to taunt, and then I think I grip this one. And I immediately press rune weapon just so I can stabilize. Now, another thing to note is that aggro is going to be very light here. You'll see they, all these mobs over here, immediately start going after the healer. Now, to get around this problem, there's a few ways to go about it. One is just pure damage. The other is, if you'll look right here, I health pot, it immediately taunts everything. So now we have room weapon going, we have vamp up, two cooldowns rolling, I'm eventually going to get a umbilicus proc here. Now once this umbilicus drops, I'm going to be a bit in danger, you'll, you'll notice here. My rune weapon's about to drop, which means I'm going to be pressing IBF and then Lichborn. For a pull like this, you generally want to have two cooldowns rolling at the same time. I made a mistake and also sent rune tap, but yeah, two is fine. Two is fine. Now by this point, I have vamp and rune weapon coming back up. Pack is almost dead, so it's not really necessary. I send vamp here and that's pretty much it. Holding rune weapon for the next pull, which is more or less the same thing. Once the conscripts are dead, you're safe to play whatever. So it's more or less the same here. We're gonna be uh, getting aggro on those guys. And then grouping the rest of the pack. Once again, it's just going to be me using two cooldowns at once, and you should be pretty safe to tank. Now, I do have an umbilicus shield here, so I do go in for my uh, Deathbringer proc, or my Exterminate proc. Once that drops, I immediately start kiting. When you have no cooldowns, or even just one cooldown by itself, it's not, it, it is risky. But now that I do have rune weapon, I do decide to go back in. I also have rune tap to, uh, to help me out as well. Now I have Lichborn. I might opt to kite instead of using it because the next pull is also pretty difficult. Yep, and then from here on out, it's pretty much just going to be me running in circles. Uh, now if we go back to the very start. We go in, Dust Caress, Vamp, get stabilized. Once I have a decent amount of HP, I go and pull the rest. Aggro, Health Pot for Aggro. And from there on out, I am holding two CDs at once so that I can survive.
And then once I'm out, you're going to be kiting, dropping your D&D slow, and just moving around in circles. Kiting in circles is ideal because it keeps the pack relatively in the same place, and that's just a lot better for DPS and having the mobs moving in one direction. Then look at the second pack again. Grouping, grouping. I pull in the caster. Ideally, drop D and D before all the mobs start hitting you. I only have one cooldown rolling now, so I'm kiting. Back up from the pack and start moving in circles. You can also do this pack without a frost mage. I know there's a frost mage in here. It makes kiting infinitely easier. But uh, as long as your group helps you with kiting, um, you can, if you're in a no comms pug, I would just say, hey, I'm going to do a big pull. I'm going to need help uh, kiting as soon as you know, just watch me. Uh, anything like that. And then obviously, if there's a frost mage, it'll be very, very useful. And that's about it. There is, I guess, there is one more pack that I could go over. This one is also pretty difficult for the same reason. So it's more or less the same thing here. By this point, we do have cooldowns back. I'm going in, making sure I have two cooldowns rolling. I have an umbilicus that's about to come up, and that will cover me for a bit. Now I pop IVF. I am also kind of micro-kiting here, um, but it's also kind of natural because of the way the mini boss here works. Once again, just circling around. By this point, the conscripts are dead, so I'm pretty safe. So now that's about it. 